Hi, it's Jessie with Plan with Jessie, and, and I have here a new Recollections planner. Now I know what you're thinking. Jessie, why did you buy this? But you guys, it's holographic. Do you see that? I don't know how well that camera picks it up, but look at that. It's iridescent. It's beautiful. And yes, I have no reason to buy it, but I couldn't leave it on the shelf. I just couldn't. Um, so let's take a look at it. This is a personal size planner. It's a ring bound. It's very stiff. So the inside is sort of a lilac, lavender color. And we have, let's carefully slip this off. The pockets on the inside are also this holographic, iridescent beautifulness. Three slip pockets here, bigger pocket, and then a secretarial pocket. Flipping to the back, we have the pocket here for like a notepad, and then a uh, pen loop. And this is again so pretty. Um, so the, there's a dashboard on the front here that says make great things happen. Uh, vellum gold foiling on. And then the first divider is like this gold stripe. And then the next divider says believe the very best. So it looks like, oh I guess this is this is also a tab. So three tab dividers. Then they have a set of to-do pages, line pages, a whole bunch of them, and then some graph paper, and then some lined paper, and that's it. So the premise with this is that you can either add your own um, inserts from an Etsy shop or or you can buy the inserts that Recollection sells. Like for example, I picked this one up. This is the fitness insert, so you can just tear the pages out. So um, like you could use something like this in here, or um, like I said, get you know um, so much crafting inserts or whatever you want. So what I thought I would do is compare this to the Recollections mint planner that I have. It's my understanding that they're identical, um, other than the material, um, so I thought I would just go ahead and take a look. I can't tell if this is silver or gold on here. Is that gold? Still can't tell. Um, might be silver. I think it's silver, okay? So that's a difference. This one has gold, this one has silver. The pocket configurations are the same, front and back. So yeah, so the the rings on this one are silver and then the rings on here are gold. So that that's the primary difference. So it's really just aesthetics. Um, and also, this feels a little, this um, holographic one feels a little bit um, squishier than this one does feels like it has a little bit more padding and this is more of a patent leather feel um, I mean it's not leather but more of a patent feel to it and this is more of um, I don't know like a little bit of a texture so this one's slipperier so that is what it looks like so the question being what am I going to use this for I wanted to sort of talk out loud about what I'm thinking I might do um, it's already got a little bit of a scratch there um, so, okay, so my current planner is the A6 Obonichi, and starting in January, it will still be the A6 Obonichi, but it'll be the Avec, which is about half the size of this. So my thoughts are that I could use this as a cover for this, even though, as you can see, it's way bigger. So my thoughts are, there's two ways I could go. My first instinct was to just take out this ring mechanism completely, which I've done before. I did that in um, this Filofax Safiano, um, and I turned it into a Fodori with the strings here. Um, and I wouldn't need to do that necessarily here because this one has this back pocket, whereas the Safiano doesn't. Um, so it, it's nice that it tucks in there. So I could take the rings out, but doing doing that, taking the rings out deflates it 
like this, it makes it completely flat. So let me show you an example of sort of how it would look. Um, so it would be like that. Okay, not quite as big. Which, I mean, could be a good thing. I mean, this is pretty bulky. The other thought I had was, what if I leave the rings in? Whoops. Leave the rings in. Continue to use this back section back here. But then leave the rings in, and I can use this for whatever I want. If I want to use this for more note pages or um, fitness tracker or whatever. I can do that because this, as you can, let me see if I can get it so you can see. The rings aren't touching that book at all. So the rings aren't interfering with the Hobonichi. Um, so I don't have to take the rings out to use this for the Hobonichi. But do I want to so that it's not so bulky? Um, I guess would be the thought. So the pros and cons are if I leave the rings in, I can use the rings for something else. I can use the planner for a diff completely different purpose at some point, whereas this one I can't I can't go back to using this as a ring bound because the rings are gone. Um, so do I take it out? Do I leave it in? That's sort of my question. Um, and the reason why I do want to use this for my planner that I'm using is just because I really like it. Um, it's just so pretty and I just, I just, I have to use it. Um, so yeah, so that's sort of my dilemma right now. What do I want to do? Do I want to leave the rings in or do I want to take them out? Um, it wasn't difficult to take the rings out of this one. You basically just take, you know, a cordless screwdriver and, um, break down these two rivets and it comes right out. I mean, I'm assuming that's what that would happen here. That's what happened with the file facts. Um, so yeah, so I guess that's sort of where I am right now. Trying to decide if I should leave the rings in or not. I guess what would make the most sense is to try it for a few days like this with the rings in. And if the rings start to bug me, I guess I can take them out. Um, and then I can either just leave it as is or maybe put in um, elastics later if I want to to put in more notebooks. So I think I could probably slip something thin in here. Where's my little notebooks? So like this little A6 notebook that came with um, this cover, this could just slip in there like that. So if I needed the extra note paper and these rings were gone, I could do it like that and that wouldn't be too bulky. Imagine if this was gone, it, it would be a little thinner. And next year, I, like I said, I'll be using the Vex. So imagine half that bulk gone as well. So I'm not sure. Wow, that scratch is really going to bug me. So that's a quick look through of what it looks like. Let me know what you think. Is this do you think this is as beautiful as I do? <laughs> it. Thanks for watching. Bye.